A driver who wrecked a car on the South Hill Thursday afternoon with three kids on board may have been drunk. Police say 24-year-old Mitchell Ironcloud was behind the wheel when the car crashed near 32nd and Ray. KXLY 4's Tanya Dahl is live at Ray and 33rd where it all happened. Tanya? Well, Dave, this damaged power pole marks the spot where Ironcloud and three kids found themselves trapped inside of that car. Spokane police say first responders could smell alcohol on the driver's breath. He had three small children in the car with him. Luckily for this family, Good Samaritans jumped to their rescue. We heard kids screaming from a block and a half away. The cries of sheer terror are what motivated Danny Marinko, his brother Joey, and friend Zach to carry a floor jack to this wrecked car and pry it open. It was a three and a half ton floor jack. Probably about five pumps. That thing was completely up. Inside the totaled light blue sports car were three kids, ages four, seven, and 11 months, and Mitchell Ironcloud, who lay unresponsive. We thought he was gone. When I first saw him, I, oh, I couldn't handle that part. Danny was helping his brother move when they saw the car veer off the road turn end over end, finally slamming into a nearby power pole. I got my own, and you know, my brother got his, and it's just like when you hear kids scream, you can't just not do anything about it. The trio could only get to the three kids and waited until firefighters arrived with the jaws of life to pull out 24-year-old Ironcloud. Witnesses say Ironcloud had been driving erratically several blocks before the crash. I would want someone to help me. I mean, my kids, you hear kids screaming, the dad is completely unconscious. I would want someone to help me, yeah. Police say Iron Cloud is still in critical condition tonight, but no word on how those kids are doing. And we looked up Iron Cloud's criminal record, which includes at least one DUI and multiple traffic infractions. Spokane police say they are still awaiting the results of his blood alcohol test. Reporting live on the South Hill, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.